in this clip. We will verify the facts in the addition table using our hands as a calculator. I want to add 5 plus 6. Close fists, 5 closed fingers represents 5. So I don't have to do anything to my right hand. This represents 5. And when I start my count, I'm going to count starting at 6. So there it is. 5 and 6. One extended finger. So the ones place is a 1. In other words, 5 and 6 are 11. 5 and 7. Well, there's 6. And this represents 7. So now I have 2 extended fingers in my left hand. 5 and 7 are 12. 5 and 8. I have 6, 7, and then the thumb makes 8. Now I have three fingers extended on my left hand. None on my right hand. So 5 and 8 is 13. 5 and 9. 6, 7, 8, and then we close the thumb and raise these two fingers. So I have four extended fingers, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 5 and 9 are 14. Six and six. Again, I'm going to count starting with my right hand. This is already five, so there's a six. And then go to my left hand, and this represents six. So there's two extended fingers, so six and six is twelve. Six and seven. Here's six, seven, three extended fingers, so six and seven are thirteen. Six and eight. Here's six, seven, eight. These are closed. Four extended fingers, three and one. So six and eight are fourteen. Finally, 6 and 9, which is the largest basic number. Close the thumb and raise these two last fingers, uh, the ring finger and the pinky. So I have a 4 and 1 is 5. So 6 and 9 are 15. Seven and seven. Start with the closed fist again. My right hand, I'm going to say six, seven. In my left hand, I'm going to say six, raise a finger, seven. Raise two fingers. So I have two fingers in each hand extended. 2 and 2 is 4, so 7 and 7 is 14. 7 and 8. 6, 7, 8. Thumb. There it is. So I have 3 extended fingers here and 2 here, and that's 5. 3 and 2 is 5. 7 and 8 is 15. 7 and 9. I'm going to raise these two fingers to get 9 and close the thumb. 
So this represents 6, 7, 8, 9. This is still a 7. So I have 4 and 2 is 6. So 7 and 9 are 16. 8 and 8. Again, we'll start with two, two closed fists. All fingers closed. This represents 6, 7, and I have to bring that thumb up. Keep these fingers closed. So I have three extended fingers on my right, and I'll count six, seven, and eight. Three extended fingers on my left, three and three is six, so eight and eight are sixteen. Eight and nine. 6, 7, 8, that represents 8. For 9, I'm going to raise these two fingers and close this one, close the thumb. 6, 7, 8, 9. Four extended fingers, three extended fingers, that's 7. So 8 and 9 are 17. That's it with the 8s. So let's try. 9 and 9, that's the last one. Okay, here's 8. Raise these two fingers and close this one. Close the thumb. So I have four fingers extended, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I need four fingers extended here, 9 and 9. Six, seven, eight, nine. So four and four is eight. So nine and nine is eighteen. This is a summary of the addition table. Two closed fists represent five and five. That's ten. This left hand re represents five. Right hand, this is six, five and six. One extended finger, that's 11. Five and seven, two extended fingers, that's 12. Count the extended fingers to get the ones place, and then put a one in for the tens place, in every case, because the smallest two digit sum is 10, and the largest is 18. So if we want six and seven, left hand represents six, one extended finger. Right hand represents two, six and seven. So six, that's three extended fingers. So six and seven is 13. What about seven and eight? Two extended fingers on the left, six, seven. Three extended fingers on the right, six, seven, eight. So seven and eight, this is five extended fingers when you add them, three and two. Seven and eight are 15. What about eight and nine? Here's six, seven, eight. Three extended fingers on the left hand. Nine is six, seven, eight, nine, four extended fingers on the right hand, and eight and nine will then be four and three. Eight and nine will be 17. So there it is, the facts in the addition table for the sums, and those sums are gonna be between 10 and 18. Now, this clip is a summary of hands as a calculator, wherein we use our hands to verify the facts in the addition and multiplication table. Memorizing abstract facts 
that cannot be visualized is the most difficult memorization possible. The advantage of using your hands as a calculator, there are two advantages. One, the hands provide a, a readily available visual object that can form number sums and number products. The second advantage is the hands are available at any time or any place to do the calculations, of course, once the student learns the procedures. We have taught four procedures in, uh, for multiplication. They are um, T5, Trachtenberg 5, Trachtenberg 6, Visual 9 for multiplying by 9, and Tense Complement Multiplication. And we get most of the numbers in the um, multiplication table. Using our hands for addition, we get all the facts in the addition table. This is the final clip in the series um, Hands as a Calculator.